Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. We're coming to you from the outdoor kitchen today. Um, I tell, you know, I did my little mini cleanse and uh, went eight days uh, with uh, no overt. Just wanted to drop the overts for a little while. No extended period though, so I'm going to have some uh, good fat again today. And I just wanted something different. I didn't want to just make the same old, same old a salad and wait one of my same dressings. So I decided I was going to play a little bit. And this kind of popped into my mind. I've done some similar uh, uh, dressing sauces for zoodles before uh, like this with the basil, but this is a little bit different, even if it's just a little. So let's see how this comes out. I've got, um, whoop, yep, I got everything I need. I was worried about a spoon. I've got this much lime juice. This is the big cup for the uh, Nutribullet. We're gonna add, I've got like, I've got a little bit more than a cup of just zucchini cut up from the zoodles that I made. Then I like lots of basil. We're gonna cram the basil in there. I told you my, my taste can be extreme on things sometimes. flies out today so for you people that that really bothers a lot uh oh <laughs> all right got that good mixed up now we're gonna put a nice big avocado in there it's not that big it's actually I'd say more of a medium-sized avocado Kind of looking forward to this avocado after uh, dropping the fats for a little while. Yeah, and if you're watching for the first time, I just kind of play my fats how I feel my fats. I don't really get all into the seriousness of fat. I eat fat, I don't eat fat. Just listening to the body. Now I think we can use, I think we're going to need just a little bit of water. And I do need one more little something something in the kitchen. I'll be right back. All right. Wanted to get just a couple more, a little bit of heat in there. So I got two little pieces of jalapeno, one with not very many seeds at all, and one with a nice little cluster of seeds in there. Um, gonna put a little bit more water in there. And I had just a little bit more zucchini in there. I'm going to probably put about a quarter cup, just a little bit more. That's good. Oh. Now I've got a big old bowl of zoodles. That's probably about four or five big zoodles. That's my big bowl there. You can see it. I'll compare it to my head. You see that? It's a big old bowl. So we're just going to pour it on in.
give it a little stir there. And we're good to go. This is, uh, and I'm eating a little bit early today. I got home from the gym about half an hour ago and um, they're like I'm kind of having one of those odd days. I've talked about it before where I get doing stuff and you know I don't squeeze in all the meals. So I'm eating a little earlier than I would normally eat dinner. But it's like I say, it's about 2.45, maybe 3 o'clock. So it'll give me plenty of time for this to digest for hours and hours. And then tonight I got four packages of mango in the freezer and we'll have a little bit of uh, mango ice cream. Or actually we'll have a lot of mango ice cream tonight to get in a nice little evening dessert. So let's see how it is with the zoodles. Mm. Good stuff. It's exactly what my body was craving. I don't know why. Lime and avocado came into my head and then I started thinking about this. Now this, I'll be honest with you, this is the first version of this one. So I probably will at some time in the future revisit this one and uh, play with it a little bit because it's not perfect. It's a first time, but yeah, I just like it. Like I say, I'm always, I like to show you guys the process and I don't always want to show you the finished process. This is what I do. You know, the, when I first come up with a recipe, I make it, I make it just however my brain tells me I think I would like it. Then I taste it and start recalculating and think of a few things here and there. This could use a little, maybe possibly uh, some celery in there for a little saltiness, a little Amino's Braggs in there for a little saltiness. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. But you know, that's how, that's how recipes go. You play with them. And even when I, even if I start doing this, or even if I try to do a series or develop enough recipes for a little book, eh, that would be my weak link. I just don't, I don't know if I'm that type of person to sit down and just make a recipe over and over and over and over again, you know, just tweaking it for the purpose of a recipe, you know, mine's more of a natural process, like I'll make it this time, next time I think of something else that would make it just a little bit better, and usually by about the third or fourth time I've made it, I'm like, yeah, that's how I like it. But anyhow, it's, it's good. I'm not lying to you, it's good, just like it is right here, so um, I hope you'll give this one a try. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hope you'll subscribe to the channel, and hope your week's going well super hot here super hot and sunny here it's almost like we uh slid into our summer and nobody told us but ah uh, who's gonna complain who's gonna complain and the buffett song goes they're freezing up in buffalo they're stuck in their cars where i while i'm down here between the beneath the sun and the stars i won't try to sing it to you anyhow love you guys peace